Tonight's video is on section 4.4. This is day three of section 4.4. Today we'll be finding the average value of a function. So the homework that's going to correlate to this is section 4.4, 47 through 61 all. <clears throat> so let's talk about the definition of the average value of a function on an interval. If f is integral on the closed interval from a to b, then the average value of s, I'm sorry, of f is this right here. And so, in other words, that here is our function that we're going to integrate from a to b, but for the average value, what we do differently than what we've been doing, it's 1 over b minus a. Sorry about that, that's 1 over b minus a. So what does it mean to find the average value of a function on an interval? Well, here is a couple of uh, pictorial um, representations of finding the average value of a function. So here I'm going to have um, a function f from a to b. And what we want to do is we want to find the area underneath that curve trapped above the x-axis and the two vertical lines of x equals a and x equals b. And so um, you can tell that this little piece could be stuck into this piece and I would have then a rectangle. And so um, by connecting these two ends that this, this line here, this y value, that's my average value. If I look at the average, I can eyeball what the area of this is going to be by length times width. Again, let me do it again here on this kind of a function. I have kind of like the right hand side of a parabola um, and I'm going to uh, take the area underneath this curve. So here's my f function. Oops. Underneath this curve, track between above the x-axis and uh, between the x equals 1 and x equals 4 line. And so I want to find all of this area, but what we can do is we can eyeball it, and about here, actually maybe even a little bit lower, would be um, the same area between these two. So probably even a little bit lower than that value. Let's see if I can do a little bit better job of this. Maybe here. That might be a little bit too low, which means uh, this piece here might be the same amount of area as here. So this is like the average y value, the average value. So now if I do the area of this length times this width, the area of this shaded, it would be the same thing if I took that little piece and put it throughout this. Took this little piece, so that's your average value. So let's go ahead and do a couple of examples, and we'll work out most of them in class tomorrow. So let's do an example. Let's find the average value, which means we're going to integrate, of f of x equals 3x squared minus 2x on the closed interval from 1 to 4. So to find the average value, what I'm going to do is 1 over b minus a, that's 4 minus 1, and that's going to be out front of the integrand. And we're going to be going from 4 to 1, and the function is 3x squared minus 2x times dx. And I'm going to go ahead and just integrate. Um, so this is 1 over 3, and this would be 3x to the third over 3 minus uh, 2x squared over 2 from 1 to 4. So let's go ahead and clean this up before we do anything else. That would be x cubed, x squared, from 4 to 1. So I'm going to continue to leave the one-third out there. So that's 4 cubed minus 4 squared minus uh, 1 cubed minus 1 squared. So let's see, that would be 64 minus 16. 
and 1 minus 1 is 0. So let's see, 64 take away 16, that would be what, uh, an 8, and a 48, and 1 third of 48 is 16. That is my average y value, my average y value. So it's as if, you know, here's the 16 from 1 to 4, that's a distance of 3. So from 3 times 16, there's that eyeball of that rectangle. Let's do another problem. Let me try turning off this light. It might be too bright. Light adjust a little. It's another example. F of x. So here's my curve. Oops. Closed intervals from 4 to 9. So I want to find the find the average value for the average value. So I know I do 1 over 9 minus 4. This is from 4 to 9. 1 over square root of x dx. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. That's 1 fifth. Still from 9 to 4, and that would be x to the negative 1 half dx. Now I'm ready to go ahead and integrate that. So I'm going to take out my 1 fifth. So that's x, increase that by 1 over 1 half, and that is from 9 to 4. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit more. So that's really times 2x to the 1 half power. And again, let's do uh, 2 fifths, and that's really then the square root of x from 9 to 4. Let's see what we get here. So there's 2 fifths, so the square root of 9 minus the square root of 4, 3 minus 2, so it's just that 2 fifths. That would be the average value. Thank you.